The ghetto is called Nima, Newtown, Mamobi, Alajo. Yeah, that's the ghetto. I come from Newtown. It's not an easy place to grow up. You hear the name Newtown, but if you go there, there's nothing new over there. It wasn't easy at all. <laughs> it wasn't easy at all. It's like survivors of the fittest. You have to try your best to live a life because there are people living their life astray and they are not working. They are just being at home. I remember I had my jacket to a, a designer to make it. African way for me and he disappointed me so I decided to come home and try my best and do something. My mom had a sewing machine so I used that sewing machine to start sewing. Yeah, so I said that no, I can do something for myself. It's a blessing to my mom, you know, she passed away but I still have her in my heart in my mind. Yeah. It took me three months. Yeah, three months. I have to gather money because I was that time I was I was sewing at room. I was using a hand machine sewing in the room. Yeah, so I I went to festivals to go and sell over there. So that made me to gather some money to to get a new sewing machine. People are really suffering over there, especially with the kids on the streets. You have to keep them inside, you know, to help them to get something done in their life because they can't be on the street begging for money. Yeah, so that made me to help the kids in the community because I know how it feels. I was also being a child before. When I was going to school with that, with that pen or pencils or eraser, the teacher had to kick you out so you're always feeling so down. So I felt like, no, I have to get back to the society and support the society. And I also have a foundation supporting the kids in the community. I give them books, school books, pencils, erasers, sharpness, colors, yeah, for school. My ultimate goal is to have a big factory, even more than big, this shop, to have Lots of people working to help people, people who are not working, sleeping on the street, they can have something to do, at least to earn a living, to get something to eat for their family. Yeah. It's like a dream, you know? <laughs> it's really like a dream. You know, anything in this life, anything that you pray for, and you're conscious about it, it will surely come true. No matter where, where you are, it will surely come true. Yeah, do that to the world, do that to the world. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, you know?